Now that we know you can fight, I have a serious matter to discuss. Oh? Two of my older students have gone missing. And I need someone I can trust to find them. They should know enough to take care of themselves. Yes. But the world is full of unexpected dangers, and I cannot leave my charges to investigate properly. I can look for them. Tell me what I need to know. The two students who are missing are called Akamas and Theoros. Theoros? Makarios' brother? The same. I fear I have failed the magistrate. I'll look at the campsite and see what I can find. A burned patch. Someone dropped a torch in surprise. A lost shield. That is a bad omen. Signs of battle. A body. Huh. He doesn't look much like Makarios or Xanthi. Must be the other boy. A trail. Someone ran towards the mountain heights. Could be Theoros. They'll keep a sharp watch here. My gratitude, warrior. I was certain I would not see another day. What's your name? Theoros. Trainer Iatrocles will want to know what happened to you and your companion. My aide's mate, Akamas, was killed by these dogs when we saw them sneaking about in the night. And what happened to you? I fell in combat, and they dragged me here. I saw the battlefield. You ran as soon as your companion fell. A Spartan never drops his shield. Curse you! Yes, I don't want to be a soldier. I never wanted to. All I wanted was a small boat, a small life, to fish and live in peace. A fisherman? I came all this way for a coward? So what? I didn't ask for this. It was forced upon me. A boy in Spartak has no other choice. Your mother and Makarios will be disgusted by you. At least, I'll be alive to pray for them, and love them from afar. Thank you for my life, Mystios, but tell them I'm not coming back. What do you have to share with me, Mystios? Magistrate Exanthi. I have black news for you. Your older son is lost. Dead? In the face of danger, Theoros abandoned his shield and fled his duty. This is hard news. A blow upon my heart. 
I do not thank you for your words, but they needed to be heard. Makarios has started his training at the Agogi. And who knows? Maybe one day, Theoros. I have but one son now, Mistios. To other matters. There are several in the region who could benefit from your presence, Eagle Bearer. Help them, inspire them, and I'll reward you. Give me their names. The farm owner, Laniki, as well as several of the town's important women, Zita, Zamia, and Zefxo. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. Like I missed a f Potter? Alexios, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. You came all this way to help Stentor. Good. He needs it. It's about time I started protecting those I care about. You're right. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need your help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. <laughs> in a way. Goodbye, Alexios of Sparta. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Pausanias to collect the Pancration champion. My apologies. I didn't realize you were here for testicles. Don't worry about it. I don't exactly look the part. If I may offer some advice before you get him, testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. <laughs> Another slowed. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There is a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the master, and he's gone. 
I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master, maybe explain the situation. What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena to aid the infusion. When it's warm, just add a touch of cinnamon. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? This one. The oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now to add... Just a bit of myrrh. Testicles is going to smell great. I hope he appreciates this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I almost want to keep it for myself. You look troubled, Alexios. This bay feels familiar somehow. A bird can fly away for seasons, but will always recognize its nest when it returns. This is Sparta. I don't think I'm welcome here. I'm not sure of much, Alexios, but I do know that when the time is right, we always get to go home. And where is your home, Barnabas? I'll save that story for another day. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Olympics with a champion, no less. Can't see the appeal. Everyone coming together, peacefully, in friendly competition, rather than on the You'd think they'd just kill each other, like everywhere else. That's the magic of the Olympics. The rowers need time to rest! Prepare to dock! Fortification improves the stamina. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no! Can't possibly go now. Training! See? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. There's nothing to be nervous about. We'll be there cheering you on. But... What if I don't win? They'll build statues and write poems about you. But first, we need to get you there. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, he better fucking win. Testicles, it's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am. What made you kick him in the head instead of going for a grapple? Felt like you. Ah! Ah! Improvisation. Keep your opponent off guard. Good strategy. Strategy for people. Nika, I'm gonna win. Are you excited for the games, Alexios? Thrilled. Sparta! Woo! Stand, warrior, stand. Feet down the ground. Even in the sand. A 
Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner? You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... SPARTA! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as... big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. Uh, I... likes to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Well, it looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. Hold up. I'm here for the Pancration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. I'm testicles. Your testicles. <laughs> the same testicles I went out drinking with last season. The one who made advances on my wife. And brother. Uh, the diet and training is transformative. Obviously. The people came for a show. I'll give them one. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pancration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Welcome all! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, 
one so close to my heart, the Pancration. I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action. For Zeus, let the competition commence. Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag. I will end you. <laughs> Oh, Where is your tough there. talk gone now? Please, please, my... That was your best? That was but the beginning. What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against Erasto. Good luck. Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars. Oh, wow! The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Alexios against our reigning champion, Voriaps! <sighs> Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion! Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing... ...a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias, Respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? Uh, it's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonideon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be two, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. Darkness. I should use it. Step aside. Learn some control. Don't worry. This won't take long.
This is finally free of your influence. Fragile enough. This was definitely poison. And Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. This food smells strange, but it's not rotten. This proves it. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. Hmm. A supply list for the celebration. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Priam a visit. We're going to have a conversation. Please, please, I, I was just doing what I was told. Now you'll do what I tell you. Oh, please. I thought we were just trying to make them slow. You know, so they lose. Win a few drachmi. My friend Alcibiades may already be dead. And you're talking about drachmi? The golden boy. I was there. He didn't have much. If you can get him the antidote, he'll survive. Tell me where it is. They're sure to have it at Fort Coroibos. A man there paid me to do this. Look there. Whoever did this will pay. But I'll take care of you first. <laughs> Don't want to be spotted here. the antidote. Mm. Uh, more wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I've fought all sorts of people. 
and they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there. Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how he does against our reigning champion, Voryavs! Squash you like a bug. You'll have to try harder if you want to live. <laughs> can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory! has disrespected the gods and shown can you have dishonored yourself and the games please let me explain no excuses you know the price for your transgression what crime has this woman committed exactly that her crime is that she is a woman it's news to me that's now a crime shouldn't you lock yourself up first then i am the priestess of dimitra i preside over the games she's a married woman who tried to watch them Disguised as a man, no less. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much temptation. Who are you? Kalipatira, I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew, and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies! She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me! Prove I have a right to see my son compete! You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right, always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Uh -huh. Disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man, is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. Hmm. 
Hmm. The poem, The Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated by Pindaros himself. 2K, always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Your mother told me you were competing in the Olympics. Just like my grandfather, the great Diagoras himself. That's good to know, but I need more. The priestess of Dimitra has accused your mother of sacrilege. Is she all right? What happened? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had the right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatira has an admirer. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. <laughs> ...to carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? Yes, Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes... ...dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son, and people who know her. She is a good woman. ...who loves the games, and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you! Nobody deserves such a fate. Oh. <sighs> Alexios, please. If these fools break the truce... Thief! You're on to talk, you double-dealing dog! Nobody wants trouble here. You know what will happen to you both if you break the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable cur stole from me! Huh? You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Herodotus, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Come! I am from an honorable family. Only a lowly Ionian would steal. I said Herodotus. Uh, yes. I it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. If there has been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere. ...while Lelech is from Ionian stock, a grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, 
They've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelek's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agree. Did you see anything? No, nope. Not nothing. Far less than anything. So, you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, uh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Tell me the truth, or I'll beat it out of you. Are you the thief? No, please. Look, it wasn't me. I, I fell asleep. Didn't see anything apart from the torches. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. These crypts have been opened. There is no sign of forced entry. Hmm, a note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. I've heard talk of ruins outside the city, and from what the guard said, the torches were heading in that direction. So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? Why not put aside your feud, as your children have done? You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? We have other children. Now, are you a mysterious or not? I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without a boat of you. No quarter for you! I didn't want it to come to this, but now we can forge a new future for our two families, one built on love. I wish you luck with that. <laughs>